that's what I'm talking about. Welcome back, y'all. I just went to go see the upside. Welcome to Kilo Critics, where I critique upcoming movies to let you know if it's worth going to the theater and watch it, or wait for it on DVD. And today, The Upside. And let me tell you, the builder for The Upside, with the car problems and everything else that I had to go through just to go see this movie. Ice Storm, I was supposed to go Sunday, Ice Storm. I mean, everything tried to stop me from going to watch this movie. And I kept telling everybody, like, listen, I'm gonna go to, I'm, I don't care, Tuesday, I'm going, I don't care what it looks like outside, I need to go see this movie. But I kept telling everybody it was going to be something really great, special, I just knew it. Me and the wifey had a grown up time today, so we went on a date today, and we went to go see The Upside. And let me tell you, I was more than impressed. And it's hard for me to say that I sat there and watched a movie because it was based off a of true life, you know? So it actually was a real friendship that we get an honor of witnessing because that's how well this movie was done. This movie was better than I thought it was gonna be. Remember I told you, yo, when I expect something from a movie, I never get what I want. So I was extra nervous gonna see this movie. I have to say, this movie and I expected a lot. And it was better than what I wanted it to be. It hit me, it hit me in the heart, hit me in the strings, hit it made the wifey cry. But maybe I'm saying too much now. This movie is a must-see. This is a five kilo type movie right here. That's right. Five kilos. Which means go grab the wife and go see this movie. I wouldn't bring the little kids to watch this movie. It's not for the little kids. But it's, it is for the grown and sexy. You know what I'm saying? The acting was superb. Like I was trying to say earlier. You really get caught up in the acting. Like you actually feel like. Um, that you're just um, witnessing a glimpse of time. It was very rare. I mean. Man. I, how do I express this movie so much in words without giving it up? It's, it's difficult. <laughs> Listen. Go see this movie. If you haven't seen this movie. Go right now, go see it, call off of work, you're sick, all right? Go get the wife, listen, if we going out tonight, we being grown-ups, go watch this movie. I highly support this movie. And there is, there is so much good things I want to talk about with you guys about this movie. So remember, Friday, I would like to try to go live again. Now, I feel like maybe I shouldn't go live because it should be more like supply and demand. And I'm still, and, and, you know... This channel is still a baby channel. And I don't know if I can handle the pressures of going live all the time. Can I just say this right now, guys? And I don't mean this to no offense to my wife, of course. But can I can I can I honestly open openly admit that I love Nicole Kidman? Could I I mean she's an icon. She's one of the greats from back in the days, 80s, holding it down with her grace and beauty. You know what I'm saying? She's a and she's back, man. And she's doing these movies now, like if you, if you haven't seen Aquaman she's in that I mean she's just she's a gem and we just I thought she did such a great job and it was, it's weird too because like they weren't really saying her name in the um, trailers and all that oh let me tell you too man so you see the trailers and they say comedy and you're thinking man this is just gonna be one funny hilariously movie and man this movie has such a big heart like you feel this movie. Um, my, my boy, Br Brian Cranston, plays Philip. Uh, yo, imagine that. You can't move your arms or your legs. And you just have your head. And, and, and I couldn't imagine that that life. And they, like that shows you how different. This dude has all the money in the world. But can't move his body. Right? And then you have Kevin Hart, who could, has his body, right? Has these luxuries, but doesn't have anything else. He's... 
b barely making it, and and, and you could tell, it, you know, you could tell that he's barely making it by his attitude, right? And which character he has. And Kevin Hart, he did a great job. You know, you know what Kevin Hart did with this movie? He proved that he was more than just a funny guy. And let let me let me commend Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, I salute you for going out your own comfort. And I believe that Kevin Hart is now going to that next comedic level where, where I could be funny, but I could be serious too, you know? And I thought he did a great job, man. I love this movie, man. This, this was such a great movie. I highly recommend that you guys go see this movie right now. Don't hesitate. I don't know what to say. You see the smile on my face? I can't get the smile off my face. Listen, and there are some super hilarious parts in this movie. Listen, I couldn't stop laughing in the movie. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I love the adventure of this movie. The funny parts are funny. They are so funny and hilarious. The serious parts are serious. It's like you get that full pow. You know what I'm saying? Five kilo movie. Get out there. Go see it. Support these actors, man. Support this movie. Support this project. I hope that they make more movies like this, especially when it comes to the comedy genre, because these are the movies that I need right here. I'm asking for substance. I need more. And let me tell you, Upside, you delivered. This is a home run. This is a out the park. This is the touchdown and, and, uh, and one second on the clock. Fourth, fourth and goal. I love this movie. I, there's nothing more I can say about it. I don't want to spoil it. But listen, Friday, we will talk about the upside. So, please, before you got till Friday to watch this movie. So we can talk about it. Because it's that good. I want to talk about it. Alright? Alright, guys. Well, this is Kilo Critics. I want to thank you guys for choosing me again to check out your movies. Once again, if there's a movie that you want me to check out to see if it's worth going to the theater and watch it. Or wait for it on DVD, you let me know in the comments. That's our communication key right there. Alright? Until next time, I want to say be good. You know what I'm saying? Keep watching those movies. Peace and I'm out.